hello everyone welcome to my new video so today in this video i am going to demonstrate on data integration that is how to load the data into a snowflake database so for this i am going to use an etl tool called pentaho so what is pentaho pentaho is a business intelligence software that provides data integration for app services information dashboards data mining and extract transform load capabilities so in short we can say that it is an open source platform for data integration and data analytics pentaho etl software comes in two editions a free community edition and a subscription based enterprise edition so guys before i get started with the demonstration i would like to show you how to download and set up pentaho in your system to download the pentaho software let's go to google and search for pentaho data integration download we have to go to the first link provided and from this website we will get the pentaho community edition so after downloading the software we will get a zip folder like this and after unzipping the folder there will be a data integration folder in this so let's open this and in this we have to go to the spoon a windows batch file so it takes some time to open so until that i would like to explore snowflake database so in my previous video i have explained each and everything of the snowflake database how to connect to the snowflake database how to query from the snowflake database using python so i will be giving the link of that video at the end of this video so guys as you can see this is a 9.0 version of the pentaho data integration so after getting started with spoon uh, we will get this interface so this is the welcome to pentaho data integration page and in this if we go to this view uh, we will find the transformations and jobs so in transformations we have to create a new transformation so in this i am going to transform a csv file into my snowflake database so i have to take the input as csv file so uh, let me show you my csv file in which uh, i have three data tables mainly names images and date of birth so guys let me get back to the spoon and in this csv file input double click and browse and we have to put that csv file in this so here i have that data one csv file which contains three tables preview data so here i have my data of that csv file and it is loaded into this so press ok and now to convert this and uh, to add a new two fields for this so i will be taking age and age group so for that i'll be taking a formula as i have to add two fields so i'll be taking two formulas i have already defined a formula for the age field so this is the formula for the age field and i have defined an another formula for the age group field this is the formula for the age group field this gives the difference 
by their ages if the person is less than or equal to 19 years then it is classified as teen if the person is less than or equal to 59 then it is classified as adult and above 60 it is classified as senior so i have added the formulas and now i have to take a new file I have made a successful connection between this. So now I have to define my database. So as I have Snowflake database, so I will be selecting the Snowflake. And the host name for this is by going to the Snowflake database, you will get the URL. So we have to copy this URL and paste into your host name so warehouse i have already created a new warehouse which is called as new so i'll be adding new and the database i have created is demo so i'll be adding the database name as demo this is the default port number the username I am going to give as Ketan. This is my username from the Snowflake database. And give the password. So let's test the connection. I have to give the connection name. I have given the connection name as user data. So let's test the connection. Connection to the user data was successful. Okay. As I have established the connection successfully, and now I have to give the target schema, the target table, and the commit size. So I can move the records into my Snowflake database. So the target schema. I'll be going to give as public and the table name I'm going to give it as users so the commit size as the files are more than 100 so I'll be giving as 1000 so I'll try to get the fields these are the fields which are present in my CSV file so I'll make an SQL And execute this. So I'm getting an error in this. So I'll close this and press OK. So in the formula, I have to de define the value type. So I'm giving this age group as string as it to be classified in the string format. And in the formula, I have to give the value type as integer. So it will return the age in the integer format. And now let's run this. Yes, it has been successfully executed. So okay, and let's run this file. Let me save it in the desktop as the final data so this is giving me an successful output so you can see here it is giving the input output updated rejected errors archive timed speed and input output so here we can see the fields are getting loaded So after the completion of this, we can go to our Snowflake database and see the records which have been imported from this directly to the Snowflake. So now let's go to the Snowflake and check it once. So let's go to the worksheets and check the data so that we are getting the CSE files into the database. So for this, I will be writing the query select. 
Tá. From user. So I'll run this. And yes, guys, you can see here the records have been successfully transformed in our, into our database. So let's get back to the spoon. It has successfully completed transforming of data and it has successfully inserted all the data into our Snowflake database. So this was a demonstration on how to transform your data into the Snowflake database. Thank you all for watching my video with kind patience. I'll be giving the links of my YouTube LinkedIn in my description. Please do follow me and I'll be giving the GitHub link so you can get the perfect information of what this demonstration was on.